Hey guys, welcome back to my channel Tech Fit. Today we are looking at converting the Python files into executable files or Python into encoding the files into .c format or actually just using darwin.so file format. Now I'll be installing the all dependencies first. Now if you have all that done already, you can just jump onto the, each of the parts and you can look at the specific thing that you are watching this video for. But if you are just starting from the scratch, let's begin coding. So in this first what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to install my PI installer and also I want to install is PIP install Cyton. Now because for encoding into .c format and using that uh, Darwin.so file I'll be converting through Cyton and when I'm converting that into the executable files I'll be doing PI installer. So first I'm going to install PI installer and then I'll be going through the process of converting the hello.py file into an executable file. Again, as you can see, for me, all the dependencies are already installed because I have already installed Pile Installer and Cyton on my computer. But if you don't have that installed, that will just kick off the installation process. Okay, so I have my Python file, which is hello.py. What it does is basically prints hello on the console screen. Now, what I want to do is I want to convert that Python file into an executable file. So I don't really have to open any IDE or run Python code from terminal. I just want to double click on that icon and that basically executes my Python code. So let's do that. So it's by installer and then you will be doing dash dash one file again one file is to just if you have multiple modules in your Python code they'll just combine them all into one file not the specific executable file for each module. Then you can just say use short forms as well you can just say minus w or you can actually name it fully which is dash dash windowed which means if your app is running on the console then it will be uh, not a windowed app but if it's uh, also used as say for an example if you have built a game in python and you want it to run it in, in its own window you can just say windowed as well so which will create it as an app and then what you need then afterward is you can pass your hello.py file once you do that that will just start building the the files which we'll see now so as you can see in my file there's three files created which is one is build folder then it's a dist folder and then you have this hello.spec again you can just delete um, so first of all again you can just delete all the rest of the files like hello.spec or the build file the only thing that i'm interested in is the dist folder so once you open the disk folder, you can see there is a hello, which is uh, the executable file. If I double click on that, that should just run my Python program. And then I also have uh, Python hello.app, which is again, if your app is running on a window itself, not really on the console, then you will be running through hello.app. So as you can see, the, once I clicked on the hello.executable file, it just executes the file. Now, another thing I want to actually talk about is how can I set an icon on the actual app? So what I do is uh, for icon, you are, if you're working on a Mac, it has to be ICNS format. So what I'll do is I'll use the icon.icns format for the icon. And now I'm going to execute the same command again, but within this command now I'll be adding another attribute into this, which is a dash dash icon, and then I'll pass the path for that icon file. So as you can see, once I have created the icon and I run the command, I have the disk folder again in which I have my file. But now within the file, as you can see, so I have my executable file, which is hello, and then hello.app, which has my icon that I've selected to build for my app. Now, one thing again, if sometimes if your modules are too big and there's a lot of dependencies because again, your project is bigger, you could get a recursion error. Again, the recursion error is like a really basic scenario where your system has a set limit for recursion. So what you can actually change that limit as well. So in this now next step, I'll actually show you how you can actually do that work. So in this, you have your spec file, which is the hello.spec file. And what I'm trying to do is I'll, op I'll open that spec file and I'll make some changes into the command for that specification file. So within my spec file, I'm going to actually import the module, which is import sys uh, module. And then within that sys module, I'm going to set the recursion limit to 5000 to actually have a generic limit that I want to set for my module. Again, once you have added that, uh, if you are getting this recursion error, this will be gone because again, you are setting the limit to our higher limit, which is 5000. Again, you can do different testing on different limits if 5000 also doesn't suit your requirement. And once you do that, the recursion error will be gone. Okay, so as you can see, we, we can now convert the 
Python files into dot executable files which can execute your program within the console or if you have a Python game or if you have some app that actually runs in the window. Uh, say for an example if you're doing some generation through a Qt and then you have a GUI which has a proper app functions in it that will be run through that app file and you can also set a specific icon that you want to actually use for your project. The next thing we'll look at is encoding the Python file into a seed file and then also there will be a Darwin.so file which I will be using to import modules into different uh, Python files. Again this is one way you can actually encrypt your code if that's what you are aiming for. That If you want to encrypt your Python code into a .c file or actually maybe converting them into a Darwin.so file which again encrypts and it makes it hard for the user to read the file. Okay so for this uh, what I have in my folder is I have my data which is again my data for the pro project that I'm using in this file and then my script folder which has the actual script which is main.py and then I have a blank file which is module 2 to 5 which we'll use in a minute. Again within my uh, script folder I have my file which is main.py file. Again in this file I'm doing a couple of uh, functions which are again trying to clean string values for my sales orders. I want to use that module and convert that and encode that into a Darwin.so format file or the C code file which then I can actually use in a different package and import that package. Again it helps you to encrypt the code so, you are, so your code is actually not readable. Again so once you go into the, the script folder itself there is one file which is main.py uh, file. Again I'm going to create a copy of that file and convert it into py.x file. Again once I have this file then I'm going to go to my Atom IDE and then I'll create a function which is again I'm going to show it to you now. Within that I'm going to actually first create a new file within the same folder script which is setup.py. So within setup.py file first I'm doing is I'm importing setup tools, import setup and import siten.build, import sitenize and I'm going to create this setup function where my name is I'm just putting it as my file and then I have ext underscore modules which is equal to sitenize that file which is main.pyx which is a new file that I've created a copy of main.py file and then zip safe is equal to false. Once you have created that then I'll go back to my terminal. So once I'm in terminal I'm going to run this command which is python setup.py build ext and then a dash dash in place which will basically execute the file within that script folder. And once the execution is finished, as you can see, I have one folder which is build, and then you have main.c file, and then you also have darwin.so file. Again, what I'm going to now do is, I'm not really trying to encode it into the C code, I'm, I only need the, the darwin.so format file. So I'll delete main.c and I'll delete the folder which is build folder. And the, so the file that I have here, which is site and file, which is darwin.so format, I'm going to bring that into a different folder. And as you can see in there I have a new empty file within that empty file what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to import date and time and I'll import the package which is my main package and then I'm going to run the functions that are there within that package and then finally going on my terminal I'm just going to run that uh, python module2.py and as you can see the function executes as normal and basically I've encoded my main.py file into this darwin.so format which basically is non-readable code. Thanks for watching this video guys I hope this video helped you in some shape or form and if you like the video give it a thumbs up and I'll see you in next video. Peace out.